This episode brought to you by DoorDash, the app that brings you food you're craving right now, right to your door. Also brought to you by Chime, the award-winning app and debit card that can save you money today. Check us out at Grand Rapids Comic Con November 11th to the 13th. Hope to see you there. nostalgia critic guy remember it so you don't have to somehow i missed the craze of jimmy neutron okay not somehow i was 20 20 year olds didn't see jimmy neutron but make no mistake everyone knew what it was nickelodeon's 2001 sci-fi flick was advertised like mad for a while you couldn't see any movie without a trailer for this being in front of it to most adults, it didn't look bad, but it definitely didn't look on par with other anime flicks of that year. It looked like a cute film for kids, and nothing more. Honestly, everyone I knew thought it would come and go and be forgotten very quickly. But not only was the film a pretty big success, but it got its own hit series, its own spin-off series, was nominated for Best Animated Feature, and even got its own ride. But in hindsight, that's not always a sign of quality. He became so big he was often in the official lineup of Nickelodeon characters. To this day, many people don't think about Nickelodeon as a company without thinking about this character. And like I said, I've never seen anything Jimmy Neutron related. I hear it's more kid-based than family-based, but honestly, if something is done well and becomes a massive property, I guess I'm curious to see why. Even if it is just meant for kids. So get ready to take a trip down memory lane, or if you're my age, let's see what all this weird-ass hype was about. This is a man in his 40s watching Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. Don't act like you have anything better to do. Uh, you better have a look at this, sir. Ah, oh, commercial flight. That's what I was thinking with this animation. This is a commercial for flights, right? Yes, the animation in both the film and series is arguably pretty cheap looking, but many say that's part of its charm, and I guess I kind of see it. The textures are crazy simple with virtually no detail, but everything is exaggerated and colorful, and I guess if I was a little kid, I'd like looking at it. I just feel like every second they're gonna tell me to brush my teeth or something. Holy cow pie! Hi! Nice antiques! We see Jimmy Neutron, played by Debbie Derryberry. And no joke, here are my outtakes of me just trying to say her tongue twister of a name. Played by Debbie Bear. Played by Debbie Derry. Played by Debbie Berry. Wow! Debbie Derry Berry. Played by Debbie Berry. Played by Debbie. De wow! Played by Debbie Derry Berry. Debbie Derry Berry. Debbie Derry Berry. Debbie Derry Berry. We see Jimmy Neutron played by Debbie Berry. And here's the problem watching this as an adult. This is the same actress who voices half the kids on F is for Family. So by God, I'm waiting for her to say some inappropriate stuff. Engine cycling at one million gigajoules. I think they want us to pull over. Go suck your mother's dick. I should really get a different mindset for this. Jimmy's performing an experiment with his pal Carl Weezer, voiced by Rob Paulson, while his parents are just sitting down having breakfast. We'll have to take my car because your transmission needs a new compression cuff. Whatever. I have a weird rule a movie is working if you really want to try some of the made up food in it. And don't lie, you want to know what sugar quacks taste like. That's totally frosted animal crackers and cereal. I got diabetes just looking at that. This oven toast is brilliant, sugar booger, and your yolks are absolutely perfect, too. Again, really have to get into a different mindset to watch this. The experiment goes wrong, though, and Jimmy has to make an emergency landing without Carl. No, he's fine as Jimmy Crash lands back at home and he tries to let his folks know that he was trying to communicate with something that contacted him through space. In most circumstances, I'd say that's too much story too quickly, but it is pretty charming the way he sees it as talking to a pen pal and his parents see it as stranger danger. We've repeatedly told you not to talk to strangers. But mom, I'm on the verge of contact with an advanced alien civilization. If they're as advanced as us, I don't think that means much. 
He gets ready for school with all his inventions, some useful, some hilariously pointless, like he uses VR to brush his teeth. When another one of his inventions causes him to crash into a tree. The same tree Carl crashed into, that's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I really should have paid attention in school because it sounds like I missed some advanced shit. A male megalosaur as defined by last week's World Congress of Paleontologists. Those findings were inconclusive and you know it. If I had a nickel every time kids argued this, I don't know, I'd fail math too. The class cool kid Nick enters the room and is so cool he admits he faked his late note, doesn't have the assignment, and the teacher's fine with that. You're show and tell, please. I don't really do show and tell. Oh, yes, that's right. Just uh, slip the rent under my door. Jimmy's shrink ray doesn't work for show and tell until it accidentally goes off and. <laughs> Oh, right, the Discovery merger also resulted in changing studios for Dune 2. They see an amusement park called Retroland is opening up tonight, but they don't know if their parents will let them go out with school the next day. Damn, amusement park's opening on a weeknight. Yeah, who planned that? Eliminate school smell. Normal odor restore. So yeah, I'll admit this movie totally had me way started doing tricks with the dog. Sit. Play dead. Ah! This is why I'm a cat person. I See, leaves no mess. He spends most of his genius brain working on childish inventions like a soda that immediately makes you burp and a girl eating plant. Nice choice, as usual. He'll either get over that when he's older or that'll be his entire life. Judging by the comments he gives his mom, I'm assuming the latter. How lovely you look today. Jimmy, I'm covered in transmission fluid. And might I say, filth never looked so good. It's your mom, dude. This is actually a ploy to make her say yes to going to Retroland, which doesn't work. Meanwhile, Jimmy's toaster satellite is intercepted by an alien named King Goobot, played by Patrick Stewart in his second most embarrassing character for an actor of his caliber. Okay, third. Who works off his bumbling assistant, Ooblar, played by Martin Short. What galaxy are you from? It's Toast. Hello, Toast! And so on and so on and so on. Yeah, you know the drill, smart guy and dumb guy, but they discover Jimmy's message and decide to serve man tonight, making their way to Earth to gobble up a bunch of humanity. Let me tell you a little about rockets. I don't think people give credit for how tricky it is to write creatively stupid people. You ironically have to be really clever to write entertainingly dumb. But all my friends are gonna be there. But if all your friends were named Cliff, would you jump off them? Okay, for a movie aimed at the Paw Patrol demographic, some of this writing's pretty good. After watching ads for other ads, Jimmy uses his shrinking ray to sneak out and go to the theme park. It's fitting it's called Retroland because the soundtrack is made up of boy bands and one of the rides is Show Me the Mummy. We truly have returned to 2000, 1996. The aliens abduct all the grown-ups in the neighborhood though, just as Jimmy makes the dearest wish a little boy can make. An ironic one. I'd wish for no more parents. We could have fun all the time. Yeah! If there's anything I learn from Home Alone, the more this occurs, the better it gets. The next day, the kids all see their folks are gone via not very convincing note. Oh, you forgot to mention they were at the biggest inauguration period. And they all decide to party. <laughs> I don't care if it's intentional or not, that is an official Nickelodeon homage. Later they realize they're acting like, well, kids. And put together, they probably do need their folks. This leads to Jimmy figuring out they've been abducted by aliens and he decides to go and save them. Long range sensors picked up these ion trails indicating the departure route for whatever alien intelligence has abducted our parents. Collect the necessary plutonium. I'm just assuming this will end up in a cricket chirp. Any questions? Boy, kids' films really utilize your soundtrack, don't they? Hey there, student. I'm a student. You're a student. That essay you definitely started weeks ago before the deadline and not the night before it might be easier with some late night snacks. I'm sorry, what are you, disembodied voice? You will question none of this.
DoorDash can help you get the snacks and energy drinks you need to get through that all-nighter. Get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with Dash Pass. Just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? So worth it. Enough to complete all that important schoolwork. With zero delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members-only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less, so you can satisfy those spur-of-the-moment cravings. Or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. Wow! No time for wow! Dash Pass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving you grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited zero delivery fees. That's an amazing Did I address you? Wow. That's right. For a limited time, our viewers can get 50% off, up to a $20 value, and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code CRITIC. That's 50% off and up to $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code CRITIC. Don't forget that's code CRITIC for 50% off, up to $20 value, and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. You know, if I could chime in... Chime? 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 Chime. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking up on your credit score? What? Didn't think so. I should symbolically slap you. <sighs> At Chime, though, that's exactly what they do. With their secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build your credit over time. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposit, or credit checks to apply. Can I say something? Of course. So start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash nostalgia. That's Chime.com slash nostalgia. No, seriously, I do have something to say! Well then say it, silly goose! It's kind of a run-on sentence, though. Well, can you say it quickly? Okay. <clears throat> The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank NA. Pursuant to a license from Visa USA, Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact score may vary, and some user scores may not improve. Thank you. You're done now. Who was I? You were a student. Was I? You were. Go today. Doug returns to playing Kingdom Hearts in Birth by Sleep every Friday on Twitch. We also have new content six days a week. Hope to see you there. So the kids build spaceships out of Retroland rides, which already started out pretty inventive, so adding space travel is really like adding chocolate to chocolate. But they run into a meteor shower. So I know I kind of made fun of the animation for looking cheap, but scenes like this are legitimately really cool to watch. The angles, the movement, the lighting, they did a pretty damn good job here. We gotta find shelter, come on! They land at the little prince's home, and what's another sign this is an early 2000s movie? Mocking Blair Witch. These three filmmakers find all these sticks in the trees. They leave the tent. Don't leave the tent! Don't leave the tent! Next, I like to see him tell the story of Book of Shadows. Yeah, try it. Even the people who wrote it can't do it. But then they bring up something even scarier for young people. Puberty. Wait, what am I talking about? That's scary for older people, too. An influx of hormones will overpower our better judgment. You're gonna give me nightmares! I have a feeling puberty is light years away for you and me. At least three seasons, with an occasional spinoff here and there. They all remember how their parents used to wish them goodnight in a surprisingly sweet scene. And the following day, they make their way to the evil aliens. God, they have tacky early 2000s pop on other planets, too. They get caught humorously fast, and they reveal the parents are a human sacrifice to their god, Paltra. I do not know what Paltra is yet, but I'll give credit, I already didn't see it going that direction. Throw these minuscule vermin into the dungeon. Give Mr. Neutron the presidential suite. <laughs> and yes, we are reserving those for presidents. Any day now. And another surprisingly nice scene, Cindy tries to make Jimmy feel better for, you know, dooming the tri-state area. He accidentally achieved what Doofenshmirtz never could. And admits he's the smartest one there who can probably get them out. Why are you being so nice to me? Because there's a bunch of kids in here that need you. 
And I do too. You know it was the one who left that girl eating plant on your doorstep, right? Like I said, you killed us all. Hey Libby, you got any ideas? Jimmy does get a plan though by calling his dog and making it look like he's about to blow up. Which, why fake that? He can literally do it. You have initiated self-destruct sequence. Oh, mother. Mother. He scares the alien away and orders him to break them all free. The aliens give the parents to Paltra, who has to be hatched from an egg. I'll give him this as reasons for alien abductions go. This is refreshingly original. And the kids stare upon the giant threat. <laughs> That's not a god, it's a chicken, I tell ya, a giant chicken! Yeah! <laughs> in to fight him off, and I have to say, if this was from the point of view of the aliens, this probably be the goriest thing ever filmed. Okay, let's move out! They save the parents and fly off, but are chased by the evil aliens. Time to discipline the naughty children. I too would pay hard money to see how Patrick Stewart looked when he said that line. They fly close to one of the sons, taking out a ton of their ships. There really should be a P in front of that G. And it's down to him and the king. He turns his pup into a motorcycle. Okay, there needs to be a dog fight between him and Mega Man's dog yesterday. And he reverses his shrink ray to make himself gigantic. Think that would have gotten him out of a couple of scrapes earlier, but eh, this scene really makes me laugh. So that's what Patrick Stewart meant when he said he was blown to death in the movie. I was curious why Ian McKellen wasn't involved. The parents get back to their kids and Jimmy apologizes for talking to strangers. Oh, is that... Actually, the message of the film? I guess that checks out. Most abstract teaching of that lesson ever. Having a genius for a son may not always be easy, but it's always interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're still grounding the shit out of you. We're gonna turn you into the scariest mascot that ever anything. They get back home, the folks accidentally drink the burp soda. <laughs> Good a place to end as any, I guess, and the film wraps up. So that was Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, and yeah, I'll admit, it was pretty charming. I didn't go in with high hopes, but this movie is pretty easy to like. As long as you keep in mind the target audience is kids and not adults. Now, what do I mean by that? Because won't kids watch anything? Sure, but okay, let's say Inside Out is a PS5 and Jimmy Neutron is a decked out super soaker. One can be enjoyed by both kids and adults, the other is clearly just for kids. But as an adult, you admire its creativity, ingenuity, and it makes you wish you grew up with something similar. Jimmy Neutron is simple, but it uses that to its advantage. It embraces how simple it is and gets really imaginative with its ideas because it doesn't have to use a lot of detailed logic. At the center is a group of characters that aren't that deep, but are engaging enough to hold your interest. Actually, I'm surprised how much I enjoyed this. Not because it has a lot for adults, but because it celebrated this childlike world so much, it kind of made me remember when my mind thought this way. Yeah, just take some carnival rides and turn them into spaceships. Why the hell not? You can do that in this. While I can't say it's anything spectacular, I think it gives exactly what it was intending. A perfectly childish good time. I'm the Nostalgia Critic guy, remember? So you don't have to. Time to discipline the naughty children. Hey everybody, this month for Cameos for Charity, we're doing Wounded Warriors Family Support. Their mission is to provide support to the families of those who have been wounded, injured, or killed during combat operations. The families of these casualties suffer in many ways, some physically, some psychologically. They offer veteran training to assist in meaningful careers, family retreats, and custom outfitted vehicles and grants to enhance the lives of the wounded vets. Rated a four-star nonprofit by Charity Navigator, Wounded Warriors Family Support aids veterans and their families in healing the wounds that medicine cannot. So if you want a cameo from me saying happy birthday, congrats, or whatever, click on the link below and know the money is going to a good cause. Or if you're like, screw your face, I would never get a cameo from you, well, consider checking out this charity anyway. It's a wonderful organization to donate to, spread the word about, or even volunteer at. Take a look at all the amazing good people do out there.